Well, honey, how stampers? Welcome back to my studio. This is Deb Velder, and we are in some crazy times right now. So hopefully bringing you a little bit of happiness with some stamping ideas and um, just get down to the craftiness of it all. So I've been sending out cards and I just am sharing some of the ones that I've been sending to my family. So um, I sent this one along to my mom. She loves to garden and I just thought this would make her so happy. She's home alone and um, I do bring her food and we chat every day, but I just wanted to send her something that would make her smile. So I hope, hope that this did. And then yesterday I sent one to my oldest son, Josh and his family. And um, I just thought that this was the cutest thing and as you know if you've been following me on my blogs um jack loves to, <clears throat> to say hug 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 and um you know i love you to the moon and back so when he sees these words he knows exactly um what they say even though he's only um four years old he knows what they say and he knows that the hug and love comes from nana's heart so um this was the card that i sent to them just thanking them for stepping up to the plates they are not only working their own their full-time jobs from home which is brand new but they're also um, um, doing the homeschooling now as most of you are that have children and um, my son is also a first responder so he's got to go out on some of those scary excuse me those scary calls so that's the one that I sent to them um, Izzy has a cat that we call long tail kitty and this just reminded me of that even though they have a dog and so today I wanted to share with you the card that I'm going to be doing um, that I did do for my son jo John and his wife uh, Nikki and um, their little girl Ella. And these are little wobble bottoms. Aren't they cute? I put them on a little wobble. So the big one would have been too big, but the small one fit just perfectly. So a big set and a little set are always good to have because you never know which size you're going to need. I also put on there, this is so cute, the little, um, I used the strawberry bourbon to make his little pads glisten and glitter. And what I absolutely loved is this right here. This is our little tail and I made it with our fluffy stuff. And then I heated it with our heat tool and it puffs right up. You know how much I love our little prills. I added our little prills with the crystal glaze and used our new daisy dye damp, stamp, stamp that was a mouthful our new daisy silhouette die it's really very very cute and then a new set of sayings that i have are car are called um what are they called i i just like this one because it, it's uh it's uh, actually called uh greeting basics so um they're just adorable little um stamps in here they're tiny so they fit on a card um but the sayings are just so beautiful and then um like i said i used our little wobble bottoms I used our daisy dye right here and um, I don't know if you can see it but the cuteness of the grass in the background are adorable. With this uh, little wobble bottom die you also get the um, the eggs to go along with it and the dies for both of them. It is a combo. All right and this was the grass that I was just telling you about. This is also a combo. It comes in the two sets. I love love those. So that's all I wanted to show you to make sure that you saw that if you're going to get the prills, you also do want the little spoon to go along with it because they're so much easier to, to spoon on there. But if you um, just absolutely love the little wobbles, this is so adorable. You can use it for Easter, but as you can see, I didn't use it for Easter, all right? I used it for just thinking of my middle son and his family and how they've really stepped up to the plate with all of this going on and how proud I am of them. So you take care. Have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. I hope everybody stays home, stays safe, and stays healthy. Take care and have a great day.